Tuesday, June 17th, Josh and I head out to see if we can't put our eyes on some velvet bucks. Plus, we put up our hot zone fence to protect our eagle seed beans. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Muddy Outdoors, Non-Typical Wildlife Solution, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Scentmaster, Dead Downwind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Redneck Hunting Blind, Blood Sport Arrows, Prime Bows by G5, and Outdoor Edge Knives. Before we dive into this week's episode, I want to remind you to head over to our Facebook page and enter our contest to win a Redneck Bail Blind or a Scent Master Box. We love them. You see us use them throughout the year, so it's a great opportunity that you don't want to miss. And to make your odds even better, head over to Redneck's Facebook page and enter their contest as well. Antlers are starting to form and hunters are starting to get a little anxious. So Josh and I this week headed out to see if we couldn't get some eyes on those velvet bucks. We wanted to cover as much ground as possible, so we selected our biggest food plot here at the Proving Grounds, climbed in a redneck blind, and waited for the first deer to show. The eagle seed beans were showing some browse pressure, so we knew there was probably multiple deer in the area. We were just hoping that one of them might be a mature buck. It was a constant flow of deer in and out of the field until dark. About an hour and a half before dark, a nice buck entered the field. This looked to be a great buck, especially for early June. As the light started to fade, we saw a total of 15 deer, including another nice buck, and it showed to be a great night in the redneck blind. Man, look how this is all beat up around here. We had no idea what killed it, but something has certainly cleaned it all up. Tracy was out this weekend enjoying the property and unfortunately, come across the remains of this fawn. Experienced biologists know that a lot of fawns die before they reach the first hunting season or approximately six months of age. It's more accurate to use the word recruitment, which is usually defined as the amount of fawns entering the population the first fall or approximately six months of age. It's important to remember when we're dealing with wildlife, we manage populations and not individuals. Looking at the population-wide numbers, quality of the habitat, and what we can do is much more important than saving one individual. We're here at the Proving Grounds at a food plot we call Tracy's Field. Long-term viewers will recognize it because my youngest daughter, Ray, tagged a nice buck here last fall. During the growing season, here obviously work on food plots as 80 or 90% of the beans out here have been nipped off already. A great characteristic that's been selected or bred into eagle seed forage soybeans is that they can handle browse pressure. Deer bites the top off, they just put lateral limbs out and keep growing. Whereas most commercial varieties of soybeans, once that top is removed, the plant typically dies. Even though this field is clearly producing enough forage to feed the deer herd, not many of them are going to grow up and produce pods, and those pods are critical to our late season hunting, especially when it's cold and most of the acorns have been consumed.
to remedy that and make sure Ray or someone else in my family has an opportunity to hunt deer here again this year, we're gonna put up a hot zone electric fence and protect a portion of this field. The beans inside won't receive any browse pressure and they should produce a great pod yield while all the beans outside the fence will continue feeding deer and other forms of wildlife throughout the growing season. Once we have our posts driven for the inside and outside fence, it's time to stretch the wire. Once we have the wire stretched, it's time to tighten it up. Well, as you can see, we got all the posts in, got the wire stretched fairly tight. Now we're gonna take the wire tensioners, put them on, tighten the fence as tight as we can get it, put the last few touches, and have a hot zone fence protecting our Eagle Seed beans. New viewers may be questioning how this short fence is going to keep deer out. Well, it's because we set up basically two fences. We have an outside fence, a one strand, and we have an inside fence three foot apart. And it's a combination of electric current through every strand of the fence, plus the optical illusion can keep those deer out. Now that we've got all the posts in, the lines are all straight, we've got our wire tensioners in, we're going to connect our inside fence to our outside fence. This is an important part that shouldn't be overlooked. We want to get electricity traveling throughout the fence, through every wire. That way, it's hot everywhere a deer might touch, and it'll keep the deer out. Turn around. Turn around. It keeps acting like something else is coming. Putting up this hot zone fence is a super easy task, but apparently we were taking too long, and the deer couldn't wait any longer. Well, we got our hot zone fence complete. It's hot, keeping these beans protected. Hopefully, if everything goes planned this fall, we'll have chest high beans, lush, tons of pods, making that redneck line behind me the perfect place for late season hunting. Once we've checked the wires, making sure there's electricity traveling through every strand, we're gonna remove any vegetation that may be touching the wire and shorten it out. Once we've done that task, the fence is complete. My dad will be 80 this October. He's probably about 75. He was sitting right there in a chair, and I haven't seen him move that fast in 20 years. Because it was like a bomb. If you want to check out our hot zone fence or all the other projects we have going on here at the Proven Grounds, from scent control to food plots to stand location, be sure to sign up for our field day August 8th and 9th. No matter what management projects you have going on this week, or you're out trying to put your eyes on some bellic bucks, Remember to do it all in the glory of God. Thanks for watching growingdeer.tv. You like it? <laughs>